So from talking with my, uh, with my peers, with my neighbors going door to door and with community members out in places like here at Drake Park, four issues seem to be coming up over and over again. The first of those is the homeless issue that we've been facing that seems to have been increasing over the last two to three years, specifically since the most recent council took leadership. The second would be workforce housing or housing affordability, but specifically for those who are working uh, 40 hours a week, making plus or minus uh, 20% of the median income. We're talking about teachers, we're talking about first responders, fire, police, essential workers that are trying to make it, but having a hard time finding housing that can be affordable within our city. I think you should be able to live where you work if you're working a full-time job. Infrastructure is the next one that comes up regularly. People are very concerned about how quickly our town is growing and the quality of our streets. So I think that Ben needs to focus on how to maintain and rebuild our streets to stay ahead of growth and put proper infrastructure in place to accommodate the growing need for housing. And the fourth one is community safety. A lot of people, particularly families, are telling me that they no longer feel as safe in Bend as they used to. And I think we can strategically address this through proper support of our police force and through making sure that we draw a hard line on not accepting criminal activity within Bend. I do not support a mandatory home energy score program in Bend. I find that anything mandatory should, I find that anything mandatory has un unintended consequences on our community at large. So when talking about a home energy score, particularly one that would be applied universally across all sales prices of homes, you're disproportionately affecting those in the lowest income brackets and those first time entering home ownership or selling less expensive homes. Anytime we talk about adding additional fees or regulations onto the purchase or sale of a home, we are decreasing housing affordability, increasing the cost, and not achieving the goals that we should be focused on. While I understand where someone would like to see a home energy score, education is better than mandation. Educate our community on the benefits of knowing the energy impact, but not requiring it for every sale. Many of our homes were built decades ago. We know that they're not cost efficient or energy efficient, or at least not as energy efficient as our more modern builds. Charging $750 or so in every one of those transactions doesn't increase knowledge. Most buyers, most sellers going into those transactions know there's some downfalls, know there's some opportunities for where they could increase efficiency, but mandating a regulation like a home energy score does nothing to solve the problems on the efficiency of that home or the affordability of that home, and we're losing sight of what really matters. It's a great question. When asked what city council should be doing to address cost and availability of housing, my response has been very consistent. The city should take a proactive effort in creating more housing and a variety of housing that meets the varied and diverse needs of our community. When we look at Bend as a whole, it is made up not just of a number, of people, but individuals. Each individual having their own set of needs and requirements in their housing. For some, that can be a small apartment. It could be a condo or a townhouse. They could be living in one side of a duplex or a triplex. Some of our residents really need a single family home or a little bit more elbow room, perhaps because of multi-generational living circumstances or large families or communal living. So it's important that our city recognizes the varying need for different housing types and looks at how to create all of those types of housing and not just density and infill. Often the question of uh, density comes up and the solution looks at our community members as merely a number. They think that if we pack as many homes as possible, as many doors as possible into a small demographic or geographic area, that we can achieve this housing affordability. But that's not looking at the whole picture. 
just using vertical growth through apartment complexes and high-rise buildings doesn't address the needs of our community as a whole and leaves a lot of people unrepresented. So when city council addresses this as an issue, and it is an issue, we need to look at strategically expanding the UGB while filling in the land currently within the city limits, providing a diversity of houses that meets all of those needs. I'm Sean Seip, a longtime Ben local. I'm running for Ben City Council seat five, and I ask for your vote on November 8th. Thank you.